Welcome back to Quantum Code, I'm Martin. This is the fourth tutorial of the series dedicated to create an original 2D shooter game in Godot Engine. By the way, a link to the full playlist is in the description, check it out. In this tutorial, we will create an enemy so our character can shoot on it and destroy it. Here is a preview of the result. Awesome, now let's go straight into it. Back in Godot, let's create a new scene for the enemy. The first node will be a kinematic body 2D as the enemy will move so let's call it enemy and we can save this scene under scenes. Now let's add an animated sprite and let's call it body. Now you can click on frames and add new sprite frames click on it and then you want to go to assets images enemy and select monster frame one two three and four and you drag and drop them here for the speed we want to set it up to 12 and let's hit playing so we can see the result Okay, now we want to take those sprites and just move a little bit up right here. Okay, so we are doing this because uh, in world, if you remember, the player and the bolts are in a Y sort and so the enemy will be here too. And if the player is below this point, he will appear on top. And if, if he's right here, he will appear below. So. If you have any question about the Y sort, you can ask in the comments, I'll answer it. Now let's add a child node. It will be a sprite. And let's call it eyes. And you select monster eyes.png and drag and drop it to texture. It is already in the good position, we don't need to move it. Now let's add a collision shape. Under shape, you want to create a new capsule shape. And for the rotation degree, let's say it's, let's select 90. We'll move it a little bit up and expand it. Yeah. Here it should be good. Okay, now we will also need an era 2D because we will detect collision with the player so we can damage the player and we can delete the enemy. So we add an era to the node and for the collision shape you can just hit Control D to duplicate it and set it as a child of era to D. Now we want to set up the collisions for the enemy so let's go in project settings under 2D physics at the layer 4, you want to call it enemy. And now on the kinematic body, you want to go on collision, set the layer to enemy, delete this one. And for the mask, we will only detect the environment. It is this one. Now under era 2D, you want to go same at collision, set it to enemy at the layer. And for the mask, we only want to set it to player as the balls will already detect collision with the enemy. By the way, we can go in scenes, open the ball scene and on era 2D, we want also to detect enemy. So let's add enemy for the mask. We can hit control S to save and close this scene. Now our enemy scene is set up. So let's select enemy and add a script. Let's add a constant, we call it speed, and it will be equal to 200. We also need a variable called velocity and equal to vector2. Now we'll need the physics process. Let's create a variable which will be a vector2 and we'll call it 2 player. 
So it will indicate the direction to the blade and it will be equal to the player position minus the position of the enemy. So for the player position, we need to go one node up and then select player and dot position minus position. Okay, so this one is the position of the enemy. It's the current node position. And for this one, we go one node up. So the enemy will be under the Y sort. So this node is the Y sort. And then we select player, which is in the Y sort. So it will be this one. And we take its position. We don't need global positions here because um, both players and enemy are under Y sort. So, so the, those positions will be relative to Y sort. Then we normalize this. And now we can do velocity. We can set up velocity equal to two player. And we multiply by speed. Now we can do a simple move and collide with velocity times delta. Let's save this. Let's save the enemy scene too. And now under world, you can take the enemy under scenes and set it as a child of the Y sort. We only need to move it so we can see it. And let's test this. So as you can see, the enemy is moving to the player, but we can't destroy this, this enemy. And if he collide with the player, he will still be here. So he will not disappear and not damage the player. So let's improve our enemy. We go back to the script. And um, we will use the era 2D to detect collision with the player. So you go to, to the signals and we want to connect body entered with our script. So let's add this function on body entered. Here we can test if player in body.name. So if it is the player basically. And we will kill enemy. So let's create this function. And for the moment, we will only Q3. So Q3 is uh, the safest way to free a node. That means to remove it from the scene. Then we want to go to the ball scene again. On body entered, we can now test if enemy in body.name. And if it's the case, we will only um, kill the enemy. So we we'll do body.kill enemy. Okay, let's test this. So we go to world, we will add another enemy. Let's move it right here. And let's test. So now, if I shoot, the enemy disappear. And also, if he enters in collision with the player, as you can see, he disappeared too. So we created enemies. We make them move to the player. And they are now shootable. I mean, you can destroy them. And they will also damage the player later. So in next tutorial, we will focus on randomly spawn enemies. And they will also have uh, different trajectories, so it will be less predictable. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell if you want to get notified when the next tutorial is out. Also, you can leave us comments and feedbacks in the comment section. We will answer really quickly to any question you have or anything. And yeah, see you in the next episode.